So if we're doing rehabilitation, then we're assuming that they're not currently playing and training. So we've been able to remove their provocative load. They might have started with isometrics, but we've moved into isotonics. Their morning pain and stiffness is a good indication of how they're feeling um, because your morning pain and stiffness tells you about what you did the day before. So we're always interested in that 24-hour response. So the first thing is that our pain is low and stable. It may not be zero, but our pain is low and stable. Now, the second thing actually relates to their capacity. So we have objective measures of um, what we need them to be able to do before we progress. So if we have an athlete, our markers will be 35 single leg calf raises on each side. We would want them to be able to lift around three quarters of their body weight single leg in seated calf raise before lots of six and usually around one body weight standing as additional load um, single leg for four lots of six. If someone can do that, we're really confident moving them into the stage three and four for that faster work and we won't do that each day. We'll keep our strength work in and we'll do the faster work that you talked about every second or third day so we've got the opportunity to listen to that next day response. 